covering seafloor spreading and tectonic plates and continental drift. We have some of our best news reporters, and we're going to start with Sean, who will be talking about seafloor spreading. On to you, Sean. Thank you, Mark. Seafloor spreading is a process that occurs at the mid-ocean ridges, where new oceanic crust is formed through volcanic activity and then gradually moves away from the ridge. Seafloor spreading helps explain continental drift and the theory of plate tectonics. When oceanic plates diverge, tensile stress causes fractures to occur in the lithosphere. The motivating force for the seafloor spreading ridges is tectonic plates pull rather than magma pressure. Although there is typically significant magma activity at spreading ridges, Magma rises up the fractures and cools on the ocean floor to form new seabed. Older rocks will be found farther away from the spreading zone, while younger rocks will be near, nearer to the spreading zone. Alfred Wagner came up with the theory that all continents were put together at one point, but no one believed him. Back to you, Mark. Thank you so much for that information uh, about seafloor spreading. And now we will be going on to our next news reporter, Chris, who will be covering continental drift. Go ahead, Chris. Continental drift is the movement of the Earth's Co continents relative to each other, thus appearing to drift across the ocean bed. The idea of continental drift has been the theory of plate tectonics which explains how the continents move. Written in 1889, Alfred Russell Wallace remarks it was very formally a very general belief, even among geologists, that the great features of the Earth's surface, no less than the smaller ones, were subjected to continental mutations. There was one problem, though. Nobody believed him and he couldn't explain how. He couldn't explain how it happened. How were all the continents there? He had no reason. And then he died, thinking that nobody believed him. Pretty sad, huh? Well, um, thank you, I guess. Uh, back to you, Mark. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Hello, welcome to my basement. I am advertising the Alfred Wagner set it includes eight pieces with an exclusive Alfred Wagner minifigure. Retails for about $59.99. Get it at all your local gas stations. Order now on gasstationsonly.com and you can get a second one free for your loved ones. Get it now. Trust me, I live in a basement. It's the Lego set with Alfred Wagner. All right, we are back, and now we have a very special interview with Alfred Wagner. We cannot believe that we got him on our show, but sadly, he is not here with us. Um, he is with our reporter, Harry, who will be uh, talking about tectonic plates. So, go ahead, Harry. Thank you, Mark. I am here with my with Alfred Wagner. But first, let me give you some information. Plate tectonics is the scientific theory describing the large-scale motion of seven large plates. The theoretical model builds on the concept of continental drift developing during the first few decades of the 20th century. Geolosophic Geolosophic Community Act to Plate Plate Tectonics Theory after <laughs> sea floor spreading was validated in the late 1950s. Earth's lithosphere is composed of seven or eight ma major plates. In the minor and many minor plates, where the plates meet, their relative motion determines the type of boundary convergent, divergent, or transform. Earthquakes, volcanoes, activity, mountain building, and the ocean trench formation occur along these plate boundaries. Fun fact! The major plates on the Earth include the African, Antarctic, Eurasian, North America, South America, India, Australia, and the Pacific Plates. The Himalayan mountains include Mount Everest, where formed by the convergent boundary of the 
Indian plate and the Eurasian plate. And now I will start to ask some questions, Alfred. When did you first come up with this theory? Well, for some reason, I noticed that all the continents fit together like a puzzle. And that's when it hit me. All the continents were together at one point. And not one person believed you? Not one person believed me. But of course, now everybody believes you. Yes, yes, it feels pretty good to be right. Yes, yes. But, <gasps> wait a minute. Aren't you? Dead? <gasps> Thank you, Alfred and Harry, for that interview and that information. Now we have a quick preview for tomorrow night's show. Volcanoes. A volcano is a rupture in the crust of a planetary mass object such as the earth that allows hot lava and volcanic ash and gases to escape from a magma chamber below the surface. Earth's volcanoes occur because its crust is broken into 17 ridges, tectonic plates that float on a hotter, softer layer in its mantle. Mm -hmm. Looks like that's all the time that we have for tonight's show. Join us next time on Science News for Volcanoes. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hmm, Russell Wallace remarks. Guys, I'll take magma rises from the up, up for the. <laughs>